this is one of the most interesting math question i've ever solved like i was solving it and i was so happy now let's do it together you're going to see why this is so sweet you're going to enjoy it trust me okay we are asked to solve for x plus y if x squared minus y squared equals 24 and x y equals 35 okay first of all x squared minus y squared is difference of two squares right the algebra identity a squared minus b squared okay is equal to what a minus b multiplied by a plus b all right so this is an algebra identity so let's go ahead and use it here x squared minus y squared then can be written as x minus y multiplied by x plus y is equal to 24 right yes now let's square both sides of this equation this side squared and this side squared so if we do that we are going to have x minus y squared right so it's going to be x minus y squared multiplied by x plus y squared x plus y squared is equal to 24 squared all right now we know that x minus y squared is another algebra identity let me use this space i'm not so uncomfortable again so x minus y squared according to algebra identity a minus b all squared okay is equal to a squared minus 2ab plus b squared all right while a plus b squared all right is equal to a squared plus 2ab plus b squared all right so we are going to use that here because we have x y squared my multiplied by x plus y squared is equal to 24 squared so let's substitute these two into this place so if we should do that that means we can write x minus y squared as what x squared plus y squared plus okay minus 2a 2xy sorry x squared plus y squared minus 2xy right that is for x minus y squared multiplied by x plus y squared should be x squared plus y squared plus 2xy all right is equal to 24 squared is equal to 24 squared so we have that x squared plus y squared minus two brackets remember that we have xy as 35 okay so you're going to substitute that here so multiply by 35 okay multiply by x squared plus y squared plus what two brackets 35 is equal to 24 squared so we have x squared plus y squared minus 70 okay multiplied by x squared plus y squared plus 70 is equal to 24 squared okay look at this very well look at this very well so we have difference of two squares here. Difference of two squares says that a squared minus b squared is equal to a minus b multiplied by a plus b. Now in this case, our a is what? x squared plus y squared. And our b is 70. So we have a minus b multiplied by a plus b. All right? So that means we can put this this in this form whereby our a is x squared plus y squared and our b is 17. okay so let's go ahead and do that so we can now write this as x squared plus y squared squared all right minus 70 squared right a squared minus b squared okay is equal to 24 squared so we have x squared plus y squared raised to the power of 2 is equal to this is 24 squared minus 70 we cross to become plus 70 squared <laughs> you see what i was saying this is very interesting okay this is the first time you're coming across this place please subscribe to the channel and on your notification bell so that you'll be notified anytime i upload a new video okay thank you so much now it's time to work out 24 squared and 70 squared and recall that you are not you are not allowed to use your calculator okay now i'm going to teach you a skill a trick that you can use to do this that trick is also on this channel you can look for it under the play uh, the playlist is math tricks 
you can look for it and learn so many math tricks okay now 24 squared this is the trick 24 squared i'm going to square 4 4 squared will give me 16 2 squared will give me 4 i'll write it in two digital in two digit number then 2 times 4 is 8 and double of 8 is 16 i'll add so I have 6, I have 7, I have 5. So it's 5, 7, 6. So it means that 2, 4, 24 squared is 576. So I'm going to write x squared plus y squared, all squared is equal to 576, right? Plus, now let's solve 70 squared using the same method. 70 squared, um... 0 squared is 0, so make sure you write it in 2 digit number. 7 squared is 49, it's already in 2 digit number. Now, 7 times 0 is 0, and double of 0 is still 0, so we're not adding anything. That means the answer is 4,900. So I'm going to add 4,900 here. Okay, so we have x squared plus y squared raised to the power of 2 is equal to, now let's add 0 plus 6 will give us 6. 0 plus 7 will give us 7. 9 plus 5 will give us 14. We write 4 and carry 1. Add it here, we have 5. So this is what we are going to have. Now, to get x squared plus y squared, let's take square root of both sides. So we have square root of what? x squared plus y squared. Okay, all squared is equal to square root of 5, 4, 7, 6. Also, I'm going to use another trick to get the square root of this since I'm not allowed to use my calculator, okay? So I'm going to use another trick to get this square root. Okay, now let's continue. Let us continue. So, oh, I don't have option. Let me come this side. So we have, when you look at this, the square, we cancel the square root. So let me write x squared plus y squared is equal to square root of what? 5, 4, 7, 6. Now, let me do this using the trick I told you. We have 6 as the last digit, right? What numbers will you square to get 6? To get a number that ends at 6. Those numbers are 6 and what? 4. Yes, 6 times 6 will give you 36. Ends with 6. 4 squared will give you 16. It also ends in 6. So this simply means that this number is going to end with a 6 or a 4. We don't know yet, but let's keep our hands crossed. Don't worry, we are going to get to that. So I'm going to cancel the last two digits of this number. Then I have 54 remaining. What number squared will give me a number that is close to 54, but not more than that? And that is 7. 7 squared will give us 49. If we say 8 squared, 8 squared is 64. It's more than this. So definitely it's going to be 70 something. Now, how do we know if it's 76 or 74? The only way to do that is after 7, we have 8, right? We have 8 and 7 times 8 will give us 56. Now, 54 is less than 56. So we are going to pick the lesser number, all right? So it means that the answer is 74. Now, let's go ahead and write that. So x squared plus y squared is equal to what? 74. All right. Plus or minus, remember. Okay, very interesting, right? Now let's continue. So um let us have x plus y all squared is equal to what? Remember that x plus y all squared is what? X squared plus y squared plus two xy. Alright. So we can now recall that we have gotten the value of x squared plus y squared as plus or minus 74. So we can now write that's for here x plus y squared is equal to x squared plus y squared is plus or minus 74 okay plus 2xy all right now we have that x plus y squared is equal to plus or minus 74 plus two brackets our xy is already given as what 35 okay we have x plus y squared is equal to plus or minus 74 plus 70. Now, that means that we have two values for our x plus y squared, okay? I thought it's going to be very interesting. So let's go ahead and get that. Let's go ahead and get that, okay? So our x plus y squared, let's write the two cases. Case one, case one, 
x plus y squared is equal to plus 74 plus 70 okay which will give us what 74 plus 70 will give us 144 144 that is for case one now for case two for case two we have that x plus y squared will be equal to minus 74 right minus 74 plus 70 which will give us minus 4 now recall that we are not looking for x plus y squared we are looking for x plus y now for case one for case one x plus y squared is equal to 144 now let's take the square root of both sides of this equation so if we say square root of this square root of this this we cancel this you are left with x plus y is equal to square root of 144 is plus or minus 12. that is for case one now for case two we have that x plus y squared is equal to minus 4. now if we take square root of both sides x plus y squared um is equal to square root of minus 4 okay so we are going to have that x plus y is equal to this same thing as what? Well. So hope you know this same thing as square root of 4 multiplied by square root of minus 1. Alright? And square root of 4 is going to give us plus or minus 2. And square root of minus 1 is i. So this simply means that x plus y for case 2 is plus or minus 2i. Hope you enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching and see you next time. Bye.